What I discover when I work with students is that half the problem in the research process is not finding the resources, but knowing what you're looking for. And this is probably because we struggle with the idea of picking our topic. We have a general idea of what we want to or what we're supposed to write about, but getting it to the point that it's narrow enough to search and not be overwhelmed is difficult. At the same time, sometimes we think too narrow and it's difficult to find what we're looking for because there's just nothing out there on the research the way we're thinking about it. The solution to this is doing brainstorming and mind mapping exercises to help you to pick your topic. And I'm going to give you an example in a second. Now, while I do this in classes on the computer, and, and this is going to be done on a PowerPoint, this doesn't require any tech beyond a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. If you can work with a group of people to do a mind map, even better, you can pull ideas from them to enhance the map. But the key is to really help you understand what you want to know about when you're going to research. So when a librarian asks you questions while helping you, like, what do you mean by this topic? Are you interested in this aspect of it or this aspect of it? What we're trying to do is help you mentally through this process to understand not only how we can help you, but to help you understand ways that you can think about this topic differently. One of the topics that uh, often comes up, especially with the college writing classes this semester, has been this idea of violence against women. A lot of people have asked me for help finding research about it. What they don't realize is this, this concept is massive, and the way we talk about it can mean many different things. So the key with a brainstorm is to start at the very center and work your way out. So at the center, you put a bubble and it says violence against women. But then you want to know what you're thinking of when it comes to the idea of violence against women. And I like to work in fours. If I can think of four narrower ways of talking about it, then I'm really set to move forward. So for example, am I interested in the aspect of domestic abuse? If my research could focus on, say, Rihanna and Chris Brown's last year's um, abusive a relationship that's still going on, that might be an aspect that connects to what I'm looking for. Versus rape, which is just could be another very big topic in itself. Do I want to know more about bullying and how women are bullied violently, especially if I wanted to do stuff about online bullying? Or am I interested in something really radical like incest and the prevalence of incest in our society? What I really have to think about is which one of these, or is there something else that I'm truly interested in? And then I want to focus on that. And in some cases, you should break down each one of those four even further. But for this example, I'm just going to focus on rape and how we can narrow rape down specifically from here. Now the question becomes now, when I think of rape, what do I mean? Do I mean things like date rape? Do I mean statutory rape? Date rape being date, the rape between acquaintances, sometimes that happens between boyfriend and girlfriend, or by people who meet at a bar and are going out, uh, and there could be drugs included in that. Then there's statutory rape, underage rape, which is sometimes consensual, but the issue of age makes it difficult for somebody to responsibly agree to consensual sex. There's the idea of rape during war, and we hear a lot about this coming out of Africa and the Middle East. And, how people, especially soldiers, take advantage of women in places they are fighting. Then there's this idea of legitimate rape that we heard a lot about in the politi political campaigns of the past six months, this idea that there are different ideas about what rape is and if it's legitimate. Or you could simply focus on how politicians don't seem to understand what women's issues are. You can go into the narrower idea of abortion and birth control related to rape. Or you can go into the idea of the culture of rape. And even then, you want to keep going narrower. So if I wanted to focus on the culture of rape, I can realign my mind map to think about that one specifically. And you'll notice that some of the ideas that came up in the last level of the mind map can be brought into here, this idea of culture of rape. And you want to know what that means to you, the culture of rape, typically meaning how society uh, accepts and denies women and their, their, the concept of rape. And um, you look at things like how sexuality is depicted in advertising, the 
game, video gaming culture and the treatment of women and how, uh, especially after the politics of this past six months, how men don't understand or even women don't understand what rape is and how there's an acceptability to being you know, it's a situation where, where rape is really underscored. So you can look at how advertising contributes to the culture of rape. You can look at the political election from 2012 and how that impacted the culture of rape. You can look at video games and gaming culture. You can look at television and movies and how rape is depicted in that. Uh, especially things like Law and Order SVU that deal specifically with cases of rape and how that has changed the way women perceive their rights. Uh, you can look at the legal difficulties of women who try to persecute, prosecute, sorry, prosecute their rapists and how difficult it is that they have to prove they were raped rather than the, uh, the idea that they are seeking justice for something that they can assume happened. And then you can deal with things like how universities deal with the process of reporting rape and the difficulties that they have on those on campuses. And there are a lot of cases where the conflicting idea of reporting a rape and the way the university processes it are a big issue. And I'm going to end this mind map here, but you can take each one of these and keep narrowing it down. The key is that we went from this idea of violence against women to something related and narrower. And this gives us terminology we can use. If we think of the advertising specifically, and that's what we want to focus on, we can pick other terms that relate to this idea of advertising specifically related to magazines, television shows, products that might contribute to the culture of rape. If we wanted to focus on the politics, we could narrow this down to specific politicians or specific places that dealt with this issue specifically. The key is to bring up terminology at some point, other ways of talking about an idea, so that you have search terms. But if you've done a mind map, you can take this to the librarian and ask them to help you find research about these topics if you're unable to. And the librarian can always help you determine if you've gone too narrow or if you need to think about an idea differently. And so those are, it's an example of a mind map and I encourage you to sit down with just a piece of paper and a pencil and see if you can create one about your next topic.